had a few requests from some girls, um, my makeup students, to film another technique on cut crease. So I have decided to film this uh, purple uh, and yellow cut crease. I'm using a P. Louise palette, stack them up. Um, it's with the purple colors and I'm starting with a light purple using a big blending brush and then using a smaller blending brush um, I'm uh, using the darkest purple just uh, blending that so underneath the first color. You need to focus color. to blend that into the crease don't go up too much keep it low and blend that all over outside of the corner of the eyes or if you want it inside you can round it up inside now this is the best technique that you can use with cut crease just take a wipe and um, kind of wipe the eyelid uh, to create that um, cut crease shape so you're just basically wiping the excess that was underneath on the eyelid and next uh, I have used a concealer. This is not from P. Louise. I think it's a Makeup Revolution concealer. And a flat blending brush. So you're just going to basically cut the crease and create that nice uh, shape outside of the corner of the eyes. As you can see, it's not difficult. It's the easiest way to create cut crease. But you just need... To to be patient and practice. Uh, I tell this to a lot of girls. If you don't practice, um, you're not going to achieve good results and you're not going to improve. So with makeup, it's always like this. Practice makes it perfect. So just practice every single day and you will get there. And next I use um, yellow from a Morphe palette. I think it's either 35W or 35U and a flat brush for the eyelid. So I'm just going to place that yellow on the eyelid where I created my cut crease. As you can see, it's a really nice bright yellow. And then I'm going to apply some eyeliner, black liner from Inglot. And I'm just going to um apply it create like an angled kind of eyeliner arabic cut crease so as you can see just follow these steps it's not difficult and you will get there this is more like a fashion look um cut crease and next i'm taking a black eyeshadow with an angled brush this is an angled eyeliner brush by kiko and I'm blending that black liner just a little bit so it won't look that sharp. It's so easy to do it. And now I'm just gonna apply some fake lashes on the strip ones. And I'm going in on my face with the Huda foundation. Um, this is quite light for me. I ordered custard shade, which is a little light but i think i mixed it up kind of mixed it up after with my mac um spf 15 uh fluid foundation yeah uh first one it was quite light so i always mix them up huda it's a really good foundation with maximum coverage i mean with extreme coverage but for me it's um a little too dry as I have dry skin so whenever I'm using just Huda foundation I have to apply loads of moisturizer before applying the foundation because it really dries my skin so I kind of prefer the MAC foundation recently even though I have used Huda for a long time however mixing these two will give you really full coverage uh, mixture for kind of combination to dry skin. Next I'm using the CoverGirl concealer and I'm just placing that underneath where I have my dark circles and on underneath the outer corner of the eyes just to create a lifting effect as you can see. 
I always do that. It's a recent trick. It just, it's just that I have the first signs of aging and I need some pretty good improvements when I do my makeup. So I like to create this uh, lifting effect made out of, of makeup, of course. I am blending that really well into the skin, the concealer with the pointed part of the blending uh, sponge, the beauty blender. And next I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring. I'm using a Zoeva bronze and contour. It's a small palette that I have uh, achieved it from Tiki Max, I think. I have bought it from Tiki Max. I'm also contouring my nose. I always do this when I do my makeup. It just uh, creates that illusion of a smaller nose. I'm using a blending brush for that. Uh, the brush is from Morphe. And just making sure it's all nicely blended and when I'll go out it doesn't look like it's dirty. <laughs> and next I have a um, creamy blush from Laura Mercier. They have sent me this uh, for Halloween I have some good stuff uh, from Shiseido Laura Mercier and NARS I don't really use uh, creamy blush products but this one I really love it um, I usually blend that with the beauty blender uh, or even you can use just your fingers that's fine and I also have the setting powder from Laura Mercier I'm just going to apply that on the highlighted areas under my eyes, uh, forehead, and I'm going to apply some eyeshadow on the bottom line of my eyes, just a little blue and purple shadow from the same P. Louise and another one stuck them up. I love these palettes, although I have to mention they are a bit powdery and um, whenever I work with them I always start with eyes because they kind of go everywhere. So if you're a beginner you will need some patience whenever you use them. But the colors are very pigmented. And I also kind of want to apply some white liner on the waterline and this is from NARS. This will make your eyes look a bit bigger and brighter. So whenever you use white on the waterline you create uh, brighter eyes. Whenever you're going to use black on the waterline you're going to create smaller eyes and kind of a smoky look. I'm using uh, NYX Cosmetics. Uh, lip liner this is a brown shade or a nude shade as I'm just wanna applying some uh, nude lipstick I don't wanna go too dark for my lips as the eyes are pretty bright and very bold I always overline my lips so for whoever doesn't like that I don't really care <laughs> I love it and I do it all the time um, I had a really bad experience last time when, when I when I added some uh, hyaluronic in my lips and uh, I had some lumps over there. I need them dissolved and since then I don't really like uh, doing injections in my lips anymore. So I would rather create that from makeup. And next I'm just going to apply some clear glass lip gloss. This is from MAC on top of the nude lipstick and liner with a lip brush. This one is from Kiko Milano. Whenever I'm using the brush for lips, they look very defined and very nice. I love it. I hope you like the look. 
this is how it came out i'm also gonna apply a little mascara and this one is from pixie on the bottom and some blushes just to finish up the look and on the top lashes as well sometimes i put my fake lashes first and then i use mascara just to blend them together final touch applying some highlighter as usual and this is the final look i hope you like it and don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel for beauty and more i have also applied some sequins as you can see at outer corner and inner corner of the eyes and that's the final look you can find this on my instagram page as well anika